Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start uh, editing our video. I've restarted because I detached that audio and maybe I want to start over. So what I'm going to do is, again, go up to where it says my movie. I'm going to find my media here. And I'm just going to click, hold, and drag that media right down to the bottom. And then that way I'll have my video here and my sound is connected. And then I'm going to go up to my new sound here, click, hold, and drag that down there as well. Now I haven't done any editing to any of the clips yet, um, but let's just see what happened to the vibe of the trailer just by adding some new intense music here. So just by adding some intense music, the trailer has suddenly got a little more intense. Now we can't, we can't really hear some of the audio, so we'll have to play around with adjusting the volume of maybe our clips here and maybe kind of get a good idea for what we want. You might want to delete the audio from your trailer altogether. So maybe you want it to just maybe not have any dialogue, but just have different scenes that kind of pop in and out. Um, what you could do is then hold control, click, and then detach your audio. And if you wanted to completely delete, say, the audio from the original trailer, all you need to do is click that audio clip and then hit delete on your keyboard. And now there's no more audio coming from the trailer. It's just going to be the new music that you turned on. So if I were to unmute and play again. <laughs> Notice how we don't hear any more of the dialogue or the talking of the characters. Instead, we just hear the intense music, which makes the whole thing feel much more intense instead of it being sort of goofy. Um, now, if we wanted to shorten our clip, so for example, the beginning of my video clip here, I have a lot of black space that's just kind of sitting there. So what I'm going to do is select my clip so I see this yellow border around it. And that way I can just click and shorten that until I see in my sort of preview box up here where I want to be. So I'm going to start right at that green section uh, that says that the following preview has been approved for all audiences. You can also make an, your own title card, which we'll show you how to do in the next video on, um, on Schoology, just so you can maybe make your own uh, different title cards to then place throughout the entire trailer. Now, if I wanted to say clip this section, so let's say I wanted to get rid of maybe this whole section with the guy looking through the binoculars, what I could do is simply go to the beginning of that clip and click. And then what I'll do is hold control on my keyboard and click, and I'm gonna go down to where it says split clip. And notice how that's turned my one clip into two separate clips. And now what I can do is just shorten this video until it gets to the end of that section. Now I notice I have some of my army man in this clip, so I'm going to reduce this just a little bit. And I'm just going to cut that whole scene out all together. Match these clips back up. And now when I play that section, it's completely gone through that space and that's been cut out. So if you want to cut out certain sections, all you need to do is click, hold control, click, split clip, and then you've split that clip into multiple sections. Uh, so if I wanted to go and add a uh, transition in here, so maybe I wanted to have my own sort of fade to black, what I would do is I would just click on the section that I, the clip that I want to transition go up to where it says transitions here. You want to avoid most of these. Um, some of these get really goofy. I would say just if you're going to do any of them, stick to the ones in this top. I think the one that you should really um, only be using is maybe your fade to black and then your cross dissolve here. And those are probably the only two that I would recommend you use during this whole, this whole assignment or any editing that you ever do. A lot of these get real goofy and gimmicky and they don't really have a place for what we're using them for. So 
The only two that you should really be focused on are your fade to black and your cross dissolve. So what I'm going to do is add my fade to black. I'm just going to click the fade to black here, and I'm just going to drag this down to the bottom of my clip. So I'm going to add this right here. Maybe I'll add it over here just so we can maybe see it a little bit better. So then I just placed that fade to black right in the middle there. So let's see what happens when I hit play. So notice how it fades to black and then it fades in. And then uh, if I wanted to add, say, if I wanted to get rid of that, I would just select it and hit delete. It's gone and maybe I could add a fade to white. I could drag that right in there. Now again, I wouldn't recommend it, but see how it faded to white really quick and then faded back. Now, um, what I would recommend too is if you do use one of these, be sure that you're being thoughtful. Make sure that it makes sense. A fade to white in this instance doesn't really make too much sense. Um, so really be thoughtful for how you're using them and not just using them because you can. Now, if I wanted to make my own title card, so if we watch the trailer here, we'll see that we have some title cards that say Walt Disney Pictures invites you into a world. If we wanted to change that to be like the scariest movie you'll see all summer, right? We could then just cut this whole section out. So again, move my playhead, hold control click, split clip. I'm just gonna delete that section altogether. And then I'm gonna go up to where it says titles here. And then we'll have a whole assortment of different types of titles here. So this should give you an example of what that's looking like. I didn't want this one. So if I messed up and I want to go back, I'm just going to hit command Z that'll undo. And so what we could do is let's say I wanted to add just a simple, um, let's see what we got here. And again, same thing with these. Notice how some of these are super corny. I would say really be thoughtful and choiceful and making sure that you don't pick ones that look too goofy or too um, a little bit um, childish or they don't fit your vibe. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do with the simple text title here. And all, just like I did with my transitions, I'm going to click, hold, drag that right to the middle there. I'm just going to type in, for example, the scariest movie you will see all year. And then I could even split this up, hit return just to kind of put that there. And then we'll see kind of what it's looking like here when I hit play. Now, if I wanted that to be shorter, all I need to do is just click and hold and drag this in again. shortens up that uh, title card. Now you wanna be choiceful with your type as well. So I don't love my typography that's in there. Um, if I wanted to change that, all I need to do is go up to where it says font. So I selected my uh, all of my type here. I can go up to font and then I can pick a new typeface here that might make a little more sense. Like Dan might feel a little spooky um, if that's the vibe that I'm going for. Now this clip is way too short, so you just need to pay attention to how long uh, your clips are lasting, and it probably is going to take some experimentation to figure that out, and that's okay.